going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So I just received a phone call and my wheels are on the way. <laughs> yeah, it should be coming in like five minutes, so we're just chilling in the garage, hanging, waiting yep, until it comes. There ain't gonna be no works. Or no three piece action right now, but <laughs> You know, if you subscribe, then maybe, uh, maybe one day we can get future. some nice three-piece wheels for our cars. Yeah. If you're liking the uh, new content so far, make sure to like this video and the previous ones before. Go ahead and watch them. Uh, we'll really appreciate it. You know, we've been coming up with like a few designs mm -hmm. coming out for like our channel just you know uh, the the brand name aesthetic garage yeah. if you guys are interested just just leave a comment down below because we got we got this aesthetic garage and we also got the this sad boy sticker in like a glitter kind of finish oh shit i think i think it's here. Can you record, sir? <laughs> Shit. Excited. Let's go. Less than five minutes. <laughs> Less than five minutes. Oh shit, it's on a flatbed too. Hey, shit. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Let's go. New setup coming in soon. Oh, thank you. See in my stock wheels, I got about like negative eight to ten camera on the back and yeah. negative five, I believe, on the front. In the front. But yeah, I, I went through that phase about stance. It's alright, but I'm kind of in that phase about racing right now. So yeah, you know, camera is no bueno. <laughs> so I got some smaller wheels. You can see ESR wheels. Yes, sir. But, shall we do an unboxing for you guys? I don't know. Should just you? Surprise. Or should just surprise them? Put them on the car. You know, I cannot wait. I want to see it. Let's <laughs> unbox it because, you know. Heavy. Wait. Oh, heavy. No, not bad, you know. <laughs> for two wheels. In one box, huh? Uh, Let's open these puppies up. I think you guys are gonna like this. Bro, just the fart right here. Is it upside down? Okay, no, it's not. Alright. That would suck if it was upside down. How about. Who packaged this? Oh, shit. It is upside down. Ah, I told you. See, they do that, guy. Did they do that with yours? Yeah, they did that with mine. Like why is it upside down? Ah, oh, I don't I'm know how to package. <laughs> oh, you want sketchy guy? I have the scissors. Oh, by the way, what time is it right now? Eleven forty. You said, can, can you be here by one? Ah, heavy, so we gotta leave soon. We gotta book it. <laughs> I'll just open one wheel. Yeah, just to show. Because i never seen these in person either. Oh, yeah, me either. Go look sick, though. Watch, watch the shine. Watch, watch, watch them. Cue the cinematics. <laughs> So nice. 
Shit. Uh, we're kind of in a time crunch right now since uh, the shop wants us to be there at 1 o'clock. Eventually. So we just left the shop. We got our tires mounted onto the wheels. These are the Federal 595 All Seasons. Supposedly they're good, they're grippy, and they do pretty good on rain, so that's why I got them. They look cool too. Maybe we'll mount it just to see. I don't know <laughs> if we have time, but yeah. So I got the four wheels laid down here. I'm surprised how little of a stretch it is because this is also an 18 nine and a half with a 21540. Yeah, and this one has like more rim showing. Yeah, I went with that so I can have as much clearance without going too much camber. Early the next morning. It is currently 7.47. Shoot, I woke up kind of late, but I have an appointment at 10 o'clock for alignment. So I got two hours to bang this out to make my... Uh, to get rid of my camera and put my stock um, lower control arm, so we're ready, guys. So I actually rescheduled my alignment because I know there's no way I can finish it in like two hours. But yeah, it's gonna be later today. I got the stock LCEs back on. I just gotta uh, adjust the toe now. So this is the aftermarket lower control arm. So yeah, this is the PBM LCAs from uh, Part Shop Max, straight from Japan. What's cool about this one is that um, you got this uh, two holes, yeah, and then you have this drop LCA design. It gives you another. Uh, I I believe the top hole gives you an inch uh, lower on the back and then um, if you put it on the bottom hole it's another inch so you can get up to two inches more of a drop and then for the camber adjustment um, this is cool it, it has this like kind of threaded design where you turn this and then it'll extend or go back in and this can give you up to negative 10 camber we had a bit of an issue with the toe arm. Um, we couldn't break the locking nuts loose. But after maybe like half an hour, we got it finally. And we got, we eyeballed the, the toe fitment as straight as we can. So, yeah, I don't know about you, but that looks pretty straight to us. Just need some fine touches from the alignment shop but look at these wheels looks pretty good on the subi so we <laughs> put both sides on um i'm gonna get i'm gonna take the car off these little planks and we're gonna test test fit see if i can air out all the way Ready? Yeah. Let me know. Clearing. Easy. Money. Oh, aired out. That's clean. Money. Money, my guy. Oh, I can air out all the way. Money, so bro. With the LCAs, I had an extra inch of drop. So I put it air out all the way to zero PSI, which was shitty. I had to stop at like 35. Oh, this is. Woo! Shit. Oh, clean. Told you. Bro, I'm gonna clear. Told you, guy. Holy oh, God. Easy. Don't need any fender wear. Oh, we just gotta determine the right height. Yeah. Oh, that shit. It kind of matches. I don't have to adjust the side skirt. Yeah, you don't have to adjust the side skirt. Alrighty. 
Alright, so we just finished mounting the front. What you think? Clean. 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 What you think of the new wheels? Good, huh? Nice. Should I paint it uh, red? I don't know. Maybe like your hair? Don't put it back the old one. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, the old, those are just stock wheels in the meantime. But there she is right there. What do you guys think? Fit means a little bit off, but I'm gonna tell the alignment guy to match the front camera with the back just so that it goes a little bit lower. But overall, I got that flush look. So I just got back from the alignment shop. If you look at the camber, the back, so this is the previous before the alignment. Uh, the back was kind of off. It's like negative 3.4 and 4.1. And the front had barely any camber. But so I just told them to um, make everything even as much as possible. So if you look at the results, everything is green caster toe and then if you look at the camber I just told them to make everything negative 3.5 since the back is non adjustable so this is the numbers that came up and I just told them to match it to the front so not bad like I said it negative 3.5 matched front and back yeah pretty good Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.